let's consider another um, example of a proof by contradiction. Uh, this one is uh, from uh, the second chapter of uh, uh, David Weyocker and Seagal's uh, Compatibility, Complexity, and Languages. Uh, suppose that we have x, uh, a string over uh, the alphabet a and b, such that um, the concatenation of x with a is equal to the concatenation of a with x. And we want to show that if that is true, x is equal to um, a to the n, or n concatenation of uh, concatenations of a with itself, where n is a natural number. So um, let's use a proof by contradiction. So we will assume that um, x is a string over the alphabet um, AB such that xA is equal to AX. And we will also assume toward a contradiction that x is not equal to A to the n, where n is a natural number and a to the n is n concatenations of a with itself. So if ax is not equal to a to the n, um, it has to be equal to um, k concatenations of a with itself, then some occurrence of b, the leftmost occurrence of b, and some other string w over the alphabet a, b. So the important point about this observation is that there will be the leftmost occurrence of b in x, since it's not just a's. So x um, a is equal to, we're going to rewrite x as a to the k b w a and this is equal to ax, a, x, which, if we substitute x, uh, replace it with akbw is equal to a, a, k, b, w. And we'll uh, rearrange the a's and write it as a, k, a, b, w. So this has to be equal to this. So a k b w a is equal to a k a b w. So a k and a k cancel each other. So we're left with the equality BWA is equal to ABW. Well, this implies that B is equal to A, which is impossible. So we have derived a contradiction, and hence x is equal to a to the n for some natural number.